Let's discuss this problem which appeared in KVPY 2014 under the stream of SB or SX. And as you see, the question says that an ellipse is inscribed in a semicircle touching the circular arc at two distinct points and the bounding diameter also. And its major axis is parallel to the bounding diameter. So when the ellipse has maximum area, we need to find its eccentricity. So first of all, I have taken a cons I have uh, taken into consideration the position of the origin to be at the touching point where the ellipse is touching the bounding diameter. I have taken that point to be the origin, and uh, uh, this is the x-axis, and naturally this is going to be the y-axis. And uh, I am considering this particular length is b, which is the semi-minor axis of the ellipse, and the semi-major axis length is a. Okay, so this particular length is a. So this length is b, so this uh, center coordinate of the ellipse is going to be 0, comma b and uh, the center of the circle is uh, usually at 0, comma 0 and the radius of the circle is r, so this particular point is r, comma 0. So uh, we can easily see that the equation of ellipse is going to be, so we can write down the ellipse equation to be, uh, it is having the center at 0, comma b, so we can write down the equation as x square upon a square plus uh, y minus b whole square upon b square equal to 1. So this is the equation of the ellipse. And uh, on simplifying, this is going to give you an equation, which is uh, b square x square cross multiplying plus a square into y minus b whole square equal to a square b square. So this is the equation of the ellipse. And the equation of the corresponding circle is going to be uh, the semicircular path equation can be easily written as x squared plus y squared equal to r squared because the radius of the circle is taken to be r with the center at 0 comma 0. Now first of all we need to apply the condition of in that the, the ellipse is inscribed within the semicircle so if we solve this particular ellipse equation with the circle equation then we are supposed to get equal values of y because whenever we will be solving this circle with the semicircular path we are getting two points of touching and at these two point of touching naturally due to the symmetry the y value will be the same for both the points okay this particular y value and this particular y value has to be same so when we are solving the equation of e and c uh, we can safely eliminate the value of x uh, so let us uh, Put the value of x square into the first equation so eliminating x square we can write down b square into r square minus y square which is the value of x square from the second equation of the circle plus uh, a square into y minus b whole square equal to a square b square and uh, if we open it up uh, we will be getting a quadratic equation in terms of y square and it is going to be a square minus b square into y square um, then the linear term is going to be minus 2 a square b into y and the constant term is going to be b square r square so this is the equation um, generated um, by eliminating the value of x square from the equation of ellipse and circle. So we are getting a quadratic in terms of y and now we can claim that the discriminant of this quadratic equation has to be zero because uh, the value of y on solving the ellipse and the circle has to be same due to the touching possibility. So the discriminant of this particular equation is zero so that will imply that um, 4 a to the power 4 b square should be equal to 4 b square r square into a square minus b square so we can see that 4 and b square is getting cancelled so from here we are getting r square is equal to a to the power 4 divided by a square minus b square so uh, we are getting a condition between a b and r and this condition is only implying that the ellipse is inscribed within the circle now the next particular point of the part of the problem is that we need to maximize the area of the ellipse. So ellipses are going to have the maximum area. So as we know that the area of an ellipse is nothing but area of an ellipse is nothing but pi into a into b where a is the semi-major semi axis and b is the semi-minor axis. 
So pi AB is the area of an ellipse. And we know that when A and B will become equal, then an ellipse is circle. In that case, this particular formula will become pi into A square, which is the area of the circle. And uh, in this case, uh, we can just square up the area. Uh, that will ease up our process of uh, maximization in this case. So let us square up the area and it is pi square A square B square. So we need to maximize this value of pi square A square B square. So what we can do is that we can um, represent B square in terms of A square. So uh, writing down the value of B square from this particular equation or the condition. So from this particular condition, we can write down B square to B. Uh, so B square should be equal to um, A square minus a to the power 4 by r square so this is going to be the value of b square from this particular equation okay and uh, let us substitute that value out here so a square minus a to the power 4 by r square we are taking the radius to be constant that is r is constant so the area function so we can take this to be a function of a so f a is coming out to be pi square into a to the power 4 minus a to the power 6 by r square. So we can go for the maximization of this particular function. So we can differentiate with respect to a. So f dash a is nothing but pi square into 4 a cube minus 6 a to the power 5 divided by r square. And for maximizing this, this particular area, we need to equate the derivative with 0. So if dash a is equal to 0 and from here we are getting 4 a cube should be equal to 6 a to the power 5 divided by r square. So from here we are getting the value of a square to be 2 r square by 3. So under this particular value of a square the function is going to be maximum. So the area of the ellipse is going to be maximum. So a square is equal to 2r square by 3 and on putting this particular value of a square in this equation we will be getting the value of b square and that b square is coming out to be 2r square by 3 minus the value of b square is a square minus a to the power 4 by r square. So it is going to be 2r square by 3 whole square by r square a to the power 4 by r square. So this is going to be 2r squared by 3 minus 4r squared by 9. So it is going to be 2r squared by 9. So when the area of the ellipse is maximum, a, a squared will be 2r squared by 3 and b squared will be 2r squared by 9. So automatically the eccentricity of that particular ellipse is going to be for the maximum area case will be root over 1 minus b squared by a squared. So now we can just substitute the value of b square to be 2r square by 9 and value of a square to be 2r square by 3. So the eccentricity of the ellipse is coming out to be 1 minus 1 by 3 square root. So it's going to be root 2 by 3. So this is going to be the answer.